Hi guys, it's Rocco here. Hope you're all doing very well. In today's video, I'll share with you everything that you need to know about Luna Classic. Luna Classic has been one of the most popular cryptocurrency in the world. It even had more volume than Ethereum on Binance just behind Bitcoin. It's absolutely gone parabolic. In today's video, I'll share with you what caused the initial pump, the burn tax. We'll go into the implementation of it. Binance joining and burning trading fee for Luna Classic, which is huge news. It caused another big pump. I'll also talk about Luna Classic future my thoughts on it and finally to end the video i'll share with you my price prediction long term and also short term i'll share with you some trade setups that you can use if you're looking to buy luna classic before i get more into the video just smash that like button share this video with your friends and family luna classic has shown the power of people to get a community together and what we've seen basically cryptocurrency come back from the dead after the luna crash so it shows the power of people so hit that like button subscribe comment below uh, luna classic or burn luna it, luna classic is absolutely taking over uh, twitter hit that like button and more importantly comment something like luna burn or luna it's a uh, luna c it will really help the youtube algorithm so make sure you hit that like button and help grow this community you can follow myself on twitter follow people like vegas ed or join the terrible community discord those are some of the things you can do to help the community so make sure you hit that like button subscribe so guys let's get started with the video the first Luna Classic Revival Pump, in my opinion, came after Vegas suggested that 1.2 uh, tax burn or tax code and, you know, burning transactions. If you transfer Luna, it will, you know, burn the transactions. And if you know about trading, I explain it in all my trading videos. Trading is uh, driven by demand and supply. And if the supply reduces and with all the hype, the demand goes up, that's when you get big price moves. It was great. And I made a video actually about this three months ago. I've not been making videos lately on YouTube because, you know, with the bear market and my views are down, but lots of people are requesting a Luna Classic video so I'm making this I made this video about three months ago when I talk talk about this pump and our trade setup was background here and I actually still hold some uh, Luna Classic from, from back then I'm, I'm trading it you know I, I, I always trade but if you go back and check three months ago I actually bought some Luna Classic and that's in that video you can go watch that video so that was the initial pump that caused it and then um after a big move like this, we usually see a dip and we, we saw a big dip and I actually got stopped out in some of my positions. And then here, the implementation, I think got passed. I can't exactly remember. Again, watch uh, watch my live streams. I actually update you guys. I'm doing a live stream on Sunday. I do a live stream every Sunday, share with you trades, what I'm looking to buy and sell. So if you are interested in that, make sure you subscribe. Go into the community section and click notify. You'll get notified uh, when I'm going live. If you have any questions on Luna Classic or trading, I can answer you then. But then, it, then the rally started happening again. And this is where I started posting on Twitter. And we held a, a, a Twitter spaces as well with the Vegas and Ed. And it really helped just absolutely burst Luna Classic. And since then, we've just been buying uh, all the uh, t uh, exchanges started getting involved with it. Mexi and you know other exchanges started getting involved. There's other people trying to jump on the bandwagon. I'm only a small influencer or a YouTuber or a trader, whatever you want to call it. I've only got a few followers. But there's people with like 500k followers jumping on, seeing how big Luna Classic potential could be. And that's just, you know, shares Luna Classic with more people. People and that's what we've seen with the big pumps and then finally the big thing was Binance burning Luna Classic people you know we started we, we're still tweeting to Coinbase to list Luna Classic you can go support that cause as well again it just shows how liking retweeting even if you're a small even if you're not an influencer, just your voice, likes, comments, sharing with people, it can really help grow the community. It just shows how powerful the community of power of people is. And, you know, we're trying to get listed on Coinbase, which could be the next big thing. But we did the same thing, asking Binance and then... Um, CZ made the announcement that Binance was going to burn Luna Classic and not just 1.2, they'll be burning all the trading total trading fees collected and that is huge and as long as they keep doing that, uh, I think this is really bullish for Luna and I expect Luna I keep saying it Luna, Luna C, I expect Luna C to carry on pumping so that was the big driver and that caused another big pump and since then it's been dipping so the next step into the Luna Classic future uh, is going to be what the, uh, the, the ecosystem do so there's you know potential DeFi news, there's potential gaming being involved with it the repeg and and let me know if you're interested in talking about you know the luna classic the stable coin i think that's going to be the next big thing so if we can have like an algorithmic fungible token or you know a stable coin similar to what we had again not similar to what we had they're trying to call it algorithmic fungible token and there's some really good articles and if you are interested let me know i can go into a, a lot more detail or maybe i can interview these people on twitter or, or on youtube there's twitter spaces that i've held before with these people and um, that could those could be the next catalyst and we need to see that guys we've already seen you know 
the Luna Classic burning is really helping with all that was minted back in the crash. This burn has you know revived the whole ecosystem, and the next step is going to be actual use cases. So apps. Um, you know, DeFi trying to you know, lock value, potentially a, a stable coin ish or something like that. What we had before, they can really help take Luna Classic to the next level. What I am bullish on this is the community. After big moves like this, you're going to see a dip. You know, we saw a huge dump here. We saw like a 60% dip. And after a big move up like this, there's usually dips. Uh, you know, it's dumped 70% and then it's rallied up. I think this was the Binance news that just caused absolutely chaos in the markets. So there's going to be dips, there's going to be chops after big moves like this. The next step in the ecosystem growth is going to be actual use cases. Uh, one of the really good things, I think it's called Rexa Yella Belly. I think, apologies if I said his name wrong. He was on one of my, one of my Twitter spaces. He says that the the Luna Classic already has a big customer base and we're seeing that lots of people, maybe some people are using the ecosystem wrongly and they're trying to use Luna Classic to promote their own crypto projects, which is not right. But as Luna Classic has already got a big community, you're going to see more people coming on trying to support the project, which is quite a big thing. You know, Luna Classic has already got a big customer base. So if, if dApps and people want to grow on this ecosystem, it can really help. One concern that other people are talking about is the volume is going down because people don't want to, you know, be tax burn so that's something that needs to be considered and on this channel guys or if you follow me on twitter i've been doing this from 2017 2018 i tried to share with you bullish and bear cases so that is another thing that probably the lunar classic community need to consider some people are saying you know reduce the tax burn potentially or reduce it for like developers or something like this i mean the the biggest thing i'm bullish on on this project is the community so you know people were like oh lunar classes is gonna die and we saw them just you know have or was it more than doubled in price you know almost doubled in price yeah more than doubled in price so the big, the most bullish thing is the community. Join the terribles, you know, follow me on Twitter. There's other smart people that I've mentioned, uh, you know, especially like people like Ed, they're very, very smart people. I've, when I've spoke to them, they know what they're talking about. You can learn more about the ecosystem. So that's my thoughts on the project. So what do I think from a price point of view? I know you guys probably follow me more for the price. I, I, I shared with you a few trades. In our previous live stream, guys, I shared with you Bitcoin a live trade that worked out really well. And at the moment, if you guys remember, uh, me and Aurel, uh, he was live on our YouTube. We were shorting coins and that trade worked out really well so if you are interested in that make sure you join the live stream or you can check out our rocks trading group i'll leave the links below uh, for you to check out um, so yeah, I'll be doing live trading sunday as well if you guys are joining sunday 7 p.m so yeah talking about price now so fundamentally i think the big driver is going to be binance unless you know coinbase comes along or another exchange comes along especially coinbase will be huge and i know lots of people are sharing rumors again i don't have any solid proof on that that's that could be another big you know something like this we can see if, if coinbase uh, gets involved with it but for now i think binance what it does on monday i think tuesday night they announce that's going to be huge if they carry on burning at the rate at they that, that they have been i think that's going to be big in my live stream i said if the burn is less than five billion i think the price goes down down. If it's around 5 billion, I, I expected the price to rally a bit. Um, on the short time frame, sorry, potentially dip and then, you know, potentially go higher. So if Binance carries on, it will dip and then bounce because lots of people were already bullish. Uh, the It was already priced in. And after the, uh, uh, we say buy the rumor, sell the news, you expect a usual dip. So that, the, you know, that that's the dip that we expected. So the next news is going to be, is it going to, is the next burn going to be over 5 billion or is it going to be less than 5 billion? If it's less than 5 billion, I think the price could dip even more. If it's more than 5 billion, I'd expect the price to pump so that is a big thing to know i'll let me know if you want me to make a youtube video i'll definitely let you, let you guys know on twitter because as long as luna classic is being burned same thing i said about luna back in the day as long as more luna is being burned i'm bullish and as long as luna classic has been burned the community is as strong as as it's ever been i am bullish on luna classic long term so uh, that's one thing. Um, I would not hold any leverage trades. So this is was from Sunday night live stream. I would not hold any leverage trade. You can saw the the big spike on Sunday, Monday. So you don't want to be holding. And long term, I'm still bullish. The ecosystem, more DABs, DeFi, USD, and I'm holding spots from around here. Again, if you bought. Uh, this tops i don't want to be i don't want to be holding spot positions from here or if you've bought spot here and it breaks below this i would not want to hold from a trading point of view guys long term again like i said the some of the positions i have here i'm happy to hold that i've taken profits when it hits target and i'm going to hold that if it goes to the moon or go to the zero i want to support the lunar classic community on small positions but i won't be leveraged long if it stays if it gets below this red zone same thing i said if you again watch my youtube sunday live streams once it got back below here i said look i'm going to be short-term bearish towards here 
here and i'm saying the same thing we had a nice trade follow me on twitter i posted it live i'm long with stop below we had hit our first target we couldn't get to our second target it's come back to my origin you could look to buy here but if we start trend changing below like what we saw here like what we saw here i think short term it might be going down so that's like my short time from technical analysis long term like i said if they can carry on burning the luna, luna classic token there's more uh, developers coming onto the project uh, one big news could be the you the the algorithmic stable coin i think that's going to be huge whatever the community decides on the the latest proposal i don't think uh, uh, people aren't too happy with it because you might have to mint to burn and again i don't want to get into that but that probably be another video there's other proposals coming if they can get an algorithmic stable coin going which is really key to DeFi. we've seen it with you know luna and other ecosystems trying to copy the algorithmic stable coin that could cause the next rally in in luna classic so from a technical analysis point of view this level is huge this was the previous all-time high once it broke here you saw me just you know buying the dip uh, burn and pump tweets and all that fun stuff on twitter again you have to probably go over the top a bit you know i still i'm quite genuine what i say but in in a long format youtube video i could explain my thoughts in a lot more detail you know when it gets back above here i was bullish and it carried on pumping so if it gets below there i think that's going to be a key level for short term and we could see a bigger dip but long term as long as we're holding above here i like it and very long term about the community i've already talked about it and i'll, I'll keep you updated on what's going on they've got a huge opportunity terrible lunacy community everyone in the crypto world is looking at them if they can deliver again and um, they can get another big pump and i'll end this on this note on the short squeeze that i tweeted about there's lots of people expecting luna classic to go down and we saw this move up it caught out a lot of people it caught me out as well so if if, you know, if if there's a big update of coinbase or some you know algorithm or stable coin or whatever big news or development it can easily short squeeze and get another big rally like that so you know be very careful if you're if you're shorting luna so that's the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you want more luna classic videos do hit that like button and let me know and i've not made a youtube video i think in, in in two months now let me know if you want more youtube videos but what i will do is even in this bear market i'll carry on making this live stream because it's something that i do full time i enjoy doing it and trading and crypto can be a lonely business so interacting with people live is something that i do so you know if you do want to support me make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you want to join the crypto community i'll leave the links below for you to join so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel before i end the video what is your price prediction for luna classic do you think it goes up to it kills a zero goes up to one cent goes up to half a cent whatever comment below your price prediction for luna classic so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much